Welcome back, Odors. My name is Jose Ignacio. Employees at Stealthywood use the lunch app to place orders for lunch, snacks, and pretty much whatever they want. But someone has to manage the orders and send them over to the vendors, check that everything is delivered, and also let people know their food has arrived. No one likes cold food. In today's video, we're going to learn how to manage everything inside of the lunch app from accounts to vendors and handling orders. So let's go put some gloves on and jump right into it. All right, so first things first, to order lunch, employees need money to buy lunch, which, as you can tell over there, how does this money appear? In my case, how did that dollar appear? That's a good question. I'm in charge of transferring credit for lunch orders into accounts. Now, typically, I get money handed to me in person, or it can be deducted from employee paychecks as well. Either way, when money needs to be added to their accounts, I go over to manager, over here, and then we select cash moves, perfect. Okay, here's where we add funds. So here I can see all of the cash moves for the whole company. Our newest employee, Joan Timber, just gave me $30 to add to their account. So I'm gonna select new up at the top and we're gonna get started. The very first thing I do is select Joan Timber. I'm gonna have to start typing, oops. Small little, little doopsie there. Okay, Joan Timber, perfect. All right, the date over here is pre-populated with today's date, but I could change this if I need to. I'm gonna type in 30, 30 into the description right there below. And we're perfectly done, but I also need to add that description. There we go, all set. Manually save, I can't let old habits die hard. Okay, so we're gonna go back over here. Now we see the record right there up at the top is the latest one. All right, now that the money is up to date and it's 1130 by my mathematics, it's time to place the lunch orders. We're gonna head over to manager over here and we're gonna select today's orders. And we see what needs to be taken care of. Here, I see all of the orders for today. They happen to be grouped by the vendor. And if you notice, our search bar tells us that as well. Thank you, Odu. So I manage all lunch orders, so it's my responsibility to check this page throughout the day, send and confirm orders, and notify people that their lunch has arrived. Today, I see we actually have a few orders from several different vendors as well. In my case, actually just one. The corner deli. I need to click send orders. Now, if there happen to be multiple vendors, you would see multiple of these where you need to send them. Okay, so once I do that, I see that all the tags for these items say that they have been sent over for the status. And here's a tip. For the vendors that are configured to send via email, those orders happen to be automatically emailed to them with all the necessary information, like extras, notes, and that happens as soon as I hit send orders. So remember that. Okay, for vendors that are configured to be sent by phone, and they happen to be configured to be sent by phone, I need to actually call them and place the orders myself. Because I like to keep everything super organized, I actually don't click send orders until I'm off the phone and I'm placing the orders. But that's just me. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes or so, and I happen to have been notified via the front desk app that the food has arrived. So I'm gonna go grab it and meet you back here in a minute. All right, I've checked all the bags and everything has arrived with all the extras as well. All of those pickle spears. Even with all the technology that we have, I still need to manually check to make sure that nothing is missing. Just like at the drive-thru. Since everything actually looked good though, I'm gonna select confirm orders over here in the top left. And this indicates the food has arrived and nothing was missing. So the status for all the items over here now shows received. When an employee checks their lunch dashboard, they will also see this tag and know their food is here. But I don't also just want to rely on that. I'm going to select send notification over here. And when we do that, an email will be sent to the employees telling them, come get your food before I eat it. I'm sending each of you all of these. At Stealthy Wood, we've made our own lunch app workflow. So all of the ordered food is at a designated table in our break room. Our employees know how to get there to retrieve their orders. They know to go there. And people are pretty good about not stealing other people's food. No incidents so far, day zero. Okay, next let's go over to manager. And this time, if you see here where it says control vendors, we wanna take a look at this dashboard right here. Here is a cumulative list of all of the orders grouped by, as you can tell by the search bar, vendor. This is a great way to see who's popular with our staff. If I quickly collapse all of the vendors, in my case, you want to click their names, like the pizza place, corner deli, all of this. Bear with me. Okay, then we're done. I can see that the corner deli has the most orders out of everyone with 31 right there. That's good to know. Maybe I could talk them 
into giving us some sort of discount, maybe 25% off on Fridays, free drink with purchase, anything, just to encourage our staff to keep ordering. I can also change up this report to show me some of the other metrics. I'm gonna hit the X on the vet, sorry, on the vendors filter up here. And now the default grouping is gone instead. Now I'm gonna go over here and group by, in our case, we're going to do this by, well, what should we do? I'm gonna group by lunch location. And we can actually do that by selecting add a custom group. So if we go down here, we selected lunch location. Okay. Now, if I collapse these, would you look at that? We can see which office or location in our case has the most orders. Broadway office. You guys eat a lot of lunch. We're looking into building mini cafeteria kiosks so employees have a fast on-site option for lunch at the satellite buildings. This tells me Broadway office, you might be our guinea pig for that. Okay, now let's take a look at all recorded transactions like the previous report that we looked at, but let's group them by employee. So to view that, let's hop on over to manager. This time, let's go with control accounts. Okay, we're gonna expand the first three people here. All the A's. Every time an employee adds funds to their account or places an order, as we can tell over here, we have orders and added funds. We end up getting information. The date, user description, and amount are all recorded. I can see the details for any individual transaction by clicking on it if I would like to. We're going to select this first one. Okay, this can be helpful if employees have any questions or concerns about their lunch accounts. They have access to all of this information in their order history and account history reports. But this way, I can also view the information and maybe answer any questions they might have. I can also see who uses the lunch app the most. Not to brag, but let's go back over here. Collapse you guys. See how many orders I do. Hmm. I have a lot of orders, as you could tell. 22. And that's all for today's video. We learned how to manage lunch orders, how to add funds to lunch accounts, understand Stealthy Woods lunch flow, and check out some other reporting tools available to us. See you in the next video. Now it's time for me to eat my bacon cheeseburger. Because it just got delivered. I don't want it to get cold.